this series introduced the freedom of sandbox to us as gamers. And this series is considered as the godfather of Prime Simulator. Yes guys, we are talking about the epic, super successful series created by Rockstar, Grand Theft Auto. First of all, this episode of Dusty Memories was requested by one of my best friends, Conrad. So please check out his channel for some awesome and entertaining Red Dead Redemption and Grand Theft Auto videos. You won't regret it. Now as a gamer, I really like exploring and I didn't know that there was a thing such as open world and I didn't know about Grand Theft Auto at all. Uh, so I was playing games like Spiral, Crash, where you can just go out and explore the worlds. Then the actual open world thing was introduced to me by Driver1. Uh, so I really liked exploring San Francisco, Miami in that game. So it was a pleasure to explore. And then there was Driver3. The Driver3 had realistic graphics and everything. So those were my open world games at that time. Also Jack 2. Jack 2 had some open world awesomeness. It was big cartoony but I liked uh, the floating cars. Uh, not cars exactly but floating things and exploring the Jack 2's world. Uh, then uh, Resident Evil 4 made me a mainstream gamer and when I visited a DVD shop with my parents I also happened to see one game. This one. Yeah. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So I was curious that, hey, this GTA, I have heard heard about it somewhere. So, and then, uh, to my surprise, my dad bought this game, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. Uh, and I really enjoyed it because the game has so many similarities to driver series, you know, uh, the, the driving, the exploring, the third person, camera, uh, the shooting. And the main reason I really like Grand Theft Auto series is not violence, uh, not crime, not profanities. The main reason I like Grand Theft Auto series is exploration. I really like exploring, I really like the community, my friends. So I remember that there's a game called Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And I bought this, yep, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So I really like exploring San Andreas. Uh, it has a likable story, a likable main character, CJ. Uh, the California is awesome. You can explore the cities, famous cities, uh, Los Angeles, Las Venturas, which is Las Vegas, San Francisco, the countryside. And for modding, I bought San Andreas on the PC. Uh, but unfortunately, this version cannot be modded. I, I didn't have a PS3 back then, and I really liked the screenshots. I really like the Liberty City of Grand Theft Auto 4, so I also bought this game on the PC. But unfortunately, my laptop cannot play this, so this was a waste. But anyway, the point is, I bought San Andreas for the PC and I started uh, playing it. And then I, I found a friend on the newsseeker.com uh, whose name happens to be Randomy. Uh, he's smart as X1 on the YouTube. He told me that, hey, you can play this game and you can also record your gameplay footage. If you find something crazy like I do, you can just upload it on YouTube using the x software. Uh, the randomy and this game, San Andreas, is the reason why I am a YouTuber right now. I uploaded my first video, uh, which was crazy. Uh, quad bike, flying quad bike, chasing a plane. And it got 100 hits within a week. Uh, and that's the reason why I decided to continue uploading videos and now you see me uh, talking to you. And randomly is also reason why I started uh, myth hunting in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and all, all Grand Theft Auto games. So now I wanted to get as many Grand Theft Auto games as I could. So I got Grand Theft Auto 3 uh, which is uh, probably one of the most funnest, funnest Grand Theft Auto game in the series in my opinion. And I also got uh, uh, Wife City. Y City is a great uh, Scarface themed game uh, which features Florida and a likable character called Tommy Rossetti who happens to be the hero of that game. Also got uh, Y City Stories which is a great prequel to Y City. Y City Stories is so awesome because uh, you have an enormous a huge game on your PlayStation Portable and it's really surprising to see such a huge game uh, fitted into that small UMD on that PlayStation Portable so pass up to Rockstar. Then I got uh, PS3 uh, way back in 2009 and the reason I got a PS3 was Grand Theft Auto 4. 
I couldn't play Grand Theft Auto 4 on PC, so I was really eager to play Grand Theft Auto 4. I started exploring the modern day uh, Liberty City. I really like exploring. I really enjoyed Grand Theft Auto 4. Grand Theft Auto 4 is a unique game with a realistic and emotional story of an immigrant who came to America and got his dream, American dream, broken. There were missions which felt repetitive, the physics were kind of annoying. Then I got some open world games such as The Godfather 2. I really like The Godfather 2, I really recommend this game to any Grand Theft Auto fan. Then Assassin's Creed 2 in 2010. My dad bought episodes from Liberty City. It's an improvement on Grand Theft Auto 4 and it improves on what Grand Theft Auto 4 actually established by adding base jumping, some mini games, uh, improvements to the vehicle handling, you know, especially the bikes in the Lost and Damned. And way back in 2009, 2010, I didn't have an internet connection. But then, and when I got an internet, I was really hooked on Grand Theft Auto 4 multiplayer and on the Red Dead Redemption multiplayer, on the episode from Liberty City multiplayer, thanks to newly found friends such as Conrad, Ferguson, Warrior Kid, and Awesome 420. So I think it was a shift from a single player GTA fan to a multiplayer GTA fan. And since the physics system was kind of lame, too much realistic, uh, I was kind of skeptic about Grand Theft Auto 5, but then when I saw the gameplay video of Grand Theft Auto 5, I, I thought that hey, they have really improved the vehicle handling, they have really improved uh, the visuals, so I pre-ordered it, and on the day one, I got my Grand Theft Auto 5, and I must say that it's a game that lived up to its hype. It's like a movie. It's a game as good as Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. It's a really enjoyable game and not only the single player but the multiplayer is also enjoyable. Uh, I found some great friends to play with such as Dan, Brock, uh, Evan, Antonio and obviously Conrad, Luke, Nick, Oscan, and I used to play with the Noise Clan, Jacob, etc. So I think Grand Theft Auto 5 is the next step from San Andreas. So for me the best memories of Grand Theft Auto series are opening these kind of maps. I really like these maps and I think that uh, Rockstar is really generous for providing us with so much quality stuff in these in these uh, small games. The second good memory about this game or any other Grand Theft Auto game is exploring obviously and myth hunting and discussing about myths, easter eggs and secrets with my friends such as uh, Randomy and Conrad. Third awesome memory would be uh, playing the multiplayer with friends such as Conrad, Ferguson, etc. And another awesome memory is uh, flying cars in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, flying uh, old, old looking car through the woods and it made me feel as if I'm Harry Potter and I'm flying the blue car, you know, the blue car featured in Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets. So yeah, <laughs> I really like the cheats from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and I hope that the next Grand Theft Auto has similar cheats to that of San Andreas and I hope that the next Grand Theft Auto is situated in White City. It's been a while since we, we played a game uh, situated in White City. I think in conclusion, uh, Grand Theft Auto series is equal to fun and exploration for me. Fun and exploration, that's what Grand Theft Auto series has provided us, us gamers, the freedom to get out of those clunky levels, to just go out and explore that virtual world, to live a different life in different world. Skyrim much. So we should thank Grand Theft Auto and Take Two, Take Two Interactive and Rockstar, Rockstar Company for providing us with such a unique series, uh, which is now a super blockbuster series, Grand Theft Auto. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any more suggestions, if you have any ideas. For future Dutch D Memories episodes, please let me know in the comment section below. For more videos like this, please visit my channel and subscribe. This is Dutch D signing off. If you like this video, please check out my Dutch D Memories episode featuring Sensuro series.